Okay, guys, uh, first on the list for the United States species is the Fauna Palma Annex or the Texas Tan. Um, this one here is uh, roughly about two inches, a little bit more, um, and in pre molt. It's been in pre molt and buries its water dish. So, actually, I filled the dish up yesterday and it's buried again. So, I'm not going to add water again. I'm just going to let it be instead of it trying to continually bury the dish on me. So, uh, Fauna Palma Annex, um, the Texas Tan. Okay, guys, next up on the American tour, or United States tour, I should say, because it's not really American tour, because we do have Central American species, which will be coming up in the next couple of videos. Um, we'll have Mexico and then Central American countries. Uh, this is the Fauna Palma hensi, male. Uh, again, as you can see in uh, pre -molt. This guy is going to be going away on the 6th of May, along with the female that you'll be seeing coming up. Uh, but I wanted to get them in here now, and uh, we'll move on to the female. Okay, as you can see, here is the female, uh, Fauna Palma hensi. Um, she will be going with the male to Ruth in Buffalo on the 6th of May. Um, hopefully, uh, maybe this fall, she'll be able to breed these guys. So, uh, at least that's the plan anyway. Um, so yeah, Fauna Palma hensi, the Oklahoma brown. Okay, guys, this is the Fauna Palma calcotes, the Arizona blonde, desert blonde, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the one that we're hoping is gravid, but I'm not really quite sure because she got this big and then she's kind of just settled down. So mm -hmm. she's going to be getting a change in an enclosure. Once the hence eyes are gone and the simonis are gone, we're going to change what she's in. And then hopefully that'll prompt her to lay an egg sac if that's what she's going to do. <clears throat> um, I keep hoping I wake up every day and she's going to uh, have an egg sac, but she doesn't. So we have two more, I believe. Two more fauna pelmas that are from the United States. And then uh, that this video will be wrapped up and we'll move on to Mexico. Okay, guys, here is the Afana Palma Gabelli. This is the Carlsbad Green. Uh, she's not in a very, very uh, loving mood right now. I'm wondering if maybe we can try and get her to possibly eat for us. If I had any idea where my tongs are. Which I don't see anywhere. So... Let's have to do it a different way. Let's see if she'll come out for this worm. How can I lose both pair of my feeding tongs? Is beyond me, but Okay, so she's back in her coconut hide. I don't want to prompt her back out because she was not happy about coming out last time. So again, the Afana Palma Gabelli, um, the Carlsbad Green. Okay, guys, um, the last uh, United States species that I have is the Afana Palma Moderatum, which is the Rio Grande Gold. Um, you can see the, the tannish coloring on the carapace and uh, the legs. Uh, this one's kind of been in pre molt for a while, which is kind of normal for a fauna pelmas. I'm actually surprised that it's out. I did take the little um, skull that was up on there out because I was worried that it would get stuck um, because of the size of the abdomen in the front. I didn't want this little guy to get hurt, so um, we'll just put the leaf back in there over top of its little area and let it uh, go back down into its burrow, which it's burrowed all the way around. So uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this series. Again, this is, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, the Erie Arachnids uh, Worldwide Tarantula Collection Tour. Uh, we're going to hit country by country by country. Uh, so it could be, I don't know how many parts it's going to be, but uh, maybe you'll at least get to see everything in my collection. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, Maybe you might just see a box of dirt, but uh, we'll go from there and hope for the best. So uh, thanks for watching this one, and uh, the next one in the series will be 
uh, my Mexican species. So we'll see you in that one. And uh, have a great day. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Um, we're getting close to that 1,000 subscriber goal of mine. Um, almost there. We're almost there. So thanks again, and we'll see you soon.